Yes, hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel, Vage Academy of Mathematics. And this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAD, MAT and other management exams. This session, we have a problem from the concept of time, speed and distance. It's going to be a very frequent problem. Let's see what problem we have. Our question here is, Raju travels from A to B at a speed of 60 km per hour. Okay. Now it is given like as a person Raju is going to travel from A to B. So this is point A, this is point B. We'll have like this. So this person is going to travel from here to here and the speed is given to be how much? It is going to be 60 km per hour that they gave. So 60 km per hour. And return backs to A at a speed of 84 km per hour. Then again from B, he is going to get back to A and that is going to be what speed? That speed is going to be 84 km per hour. So we will note down that also. Yes, done. Then find his average speed for the round trip. So this question is based on the concept of finding the average speed. Okay, yes, yeah. And we'll look the options also. We'll have a glance. So we have got 66, 70, 72, 75. And all the options are in terms of kilometer per hour itself. Yes. Now, the moment we look this question and we look these numbers, we just observe those numbers. The immediate way what we will try to do is, we will try to do some obvious calculations and we will result with some immediate results, immediate answers. And there is where we have got more chances to just get trapped. That is what is here we should be very, very careful. Just look at these numbers. What numbers we have got here? We have the numbers 60 and 84. And the moment we are asked to find what is average speed, we'll quickly try to calculate what is the average of these two numbers, 60 and 84. So you try to find the average. What happens? 60 and 84, we'll just add those two numbers. So 60 plus 84 will give you 144. So 144, we have to divide by 2 and we'll get the answer to be 72. And fortunately, that 72 will be there in one of those options. But unfortunately, it is a wrong answer. Okay, yes. So this is how we'll be just get trapped by few answer choices. So this is going to be an obvious answer, obvious calculation will undergo. And that is a ready trap available in the list of options. So that is why whenever your question looks little, uh, what to say, it is going to be very shorter. And that too, if it is going to ask anything very obvious, and we'll try to get into some obvious calculations. We'll get into some wrong answers and they are going to be trap answers. We should be very careful with those traps. We should not immediately fall into it. Yes. Now we'll get into the correct approach, how to solve this question and get the right answer. Yes, we'll go. Now what the question says is there are two points A and B and the person is going to travel from A to B with the speed 60 km per hour and return B to A its speed, that speed is going to be 84 km per hour, that's all. But we don't have any information about what is the distance or what is the time taken. Nothing is given, only these two speeds are given. And that too, what we are asked to find, see here, we are asked to find what is the average speed, yes. So basically, we should be very sure about the definition of what is average speed. So average speed is nothing but total distance by total time, is it or not? So let me just mention it here total distance divided by total time. So this is the correct or proper definition for you to find what is the average speed. So we need to divide the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken to travel that distance. This is the correct definition. We have to use this calculation, this formula only to find the average speed. Yes. Okay. In the case coming back, we don't have anything about distance or time also in the question. So in that case, what we can do? Nothing to worry, we ourselves can take a distance value. Okay, fine. See here, there's nothing given in the question about the distance, but there is some hidden information there regarding this distance. What is that? The distances are going to be the same. The person is going to travel two way, right? So first A to B is traveling, then again B to A is going to travel. We still don't have what is the distance, but we know one thing sure. What is that? The distances are going to be the same, whether it is from A to B, or B to A, it is going to be the same, right? So that is one advantage we have got 
about the distance so we will just take the distances to be same we have the distances to be same now we will take a nice number or a very proper number that we can assume it to be the distance and then work out the problem yes yeah fine now we see here the numbers 60 and 84 we we'll take a number in such a way that our distance value what we are going to take is divisible by both these numbers in that way if we take our calculation will be comfortable right that is why okay yeah for that what we can do we we'll take a number which is divisible by both 60 and 84 that is in other words i can tell we can just take the lcm of the 60 and 84 yes shall we yeah let me just calculate what is the lcm of this 60 and 84 i think this space is enough for me to do that so 60 is here 84 is here so we can go with uh, 12 tables first right so 12 tables 12 fives are 60 and 12 sevens are 84 so that means we will have uh, 12 into 5 into 7 because 5 and 7 further we can't proceed they are going to be co prime numbers that's why so 12 into 5 into 7 that means 60 into 7 we'll have 420 so we'll have the distance to be 420 kilometers what distance that is going to be the one way distance i mean like a to b from a to b the distance is 420 kilometers and again b to a the distance is going to be again another 420 kilometers okay yes so in this case now we'll calculate the average speed so average speed is equal to what about the total distance total distance is going to be 420 according to our assumption so 420 plus another 420 because he's going to travel from a to b again b to a right so the total distance if you want to calculate we have to take both the ways so 420 plus 420 whole divided by now we have to calculate the total time taken also so how to calculate time it's going to be simple we have now the distance with us and we also have the speeds with us so when we have distance and speed how to calculate the time time is nothing but distance divided by speed is it or not so in that case we'll just calculate the time taken from a to b first so let me take this space to calculate the time so time taken to travel from a to b so what will be this distance it will be nothing but 420 the distance 420 divided by what about the speed speed is going to be 60 so 420 by 60 this is going to be exactly 7 so 7 hours it will take correct so 7 hours let me note it here so 7 plus we have to take the return journey also right so b to a also we have to take b to a is again the distance is 420 but this time the speed is going to be how much it's going to be 84 so divide 420 by 84 so this will be exactly five times right so yeah this five has so that means this will this will be five seven plus five so that means we'll be getting the answer now very easily 420 plus 420 let me write it to be 840 so it is 840 divided by 7 plus 5 is going to be 12 so that means it is like overall the person is going to travel 840 kilometers in 12 hours this is the meaning of average speed so totally what distance is covered for which how much time is taken so if you take this ratio this division that that will give the answer for what is the average speed right okay so this will be equal to we'll just take it so it's exactly divisible right so 12 7 are 84 12 7 are 84 in that case we'll just take the zero also so 70 times it's going to be exactly 70 times so answer is 70 kilometer per hour is going to be the answer for this question and what about our answer our answer is there at option b so option b 70 kilometer per hour is going to be the correct answer for this question this average speed question yes okay and again this question we should be a little careful and these kind of questions are very common very frequent in most exams so here this kind of questions if you just come across we should be very careful in taking the numbers in taking playing with the options also we should not immediately fall into the trap which is there available there we should be very cautious in that and at the same time if distance is missing there's nothing wrong in taking our own distance because there's nothing defined about the distance about this many kilometers or anything but also it is mentioned that the distances is going to be the same right okay it is available in a hidden way that is it's going to be both the ways so both the ways the distances are obviously going to be the same in that case we can take our own number a comfortable number we'll take that to be the distance and then work out the problem and you may have another doubt also why do we take this particular number and then we work the problem we got the answer but why don't we take some other number you may have that doubt so no doubt in that also you can even take some other number also and then work out the same problem you will again happen to get the same answer 70 km per hour to be a final answer you can even try it out and then comment it in the comment box yes 
yeah friends i hope this problem the way the approach we took here to work the problem you are able to understand it and if you feel that this session to be useful for you please give a like and also please do share this video to your friends also who are preparing for any such exams again in the next session we'll catch up with some other interesting problem see you soon there thank you so much